Hello and welcome everybody. This is Spiritual Findings with a Gypsy Soul. I am your Gypsy, Spiritual Lynn. And today we're going to be doing a general reading for my Leos for July 2019. Happy birthday to some of you guys. All right, so when I say general reading, this is gonna cover your love, your career, your soul story, what's going on for July. So I hope you guys like my setup here. I am off grid on top of a mountain. There's no electricity, no running water, no cell phone service. It's literally just me and nature. As I say that, <laughs> I already have a spider's web kind of hanging from the camera here. So maybe some of you guys have the spirit animal of a spider. I know last year when I did my off grid readings, we had a lot of birds and things like that, butterflies, spirit animals that made their presence known in the video so you guys so far have a spider I know earlier it was um, I seen a snail during a reading other butterflies it was really it's really great to kind of use mother nature's divination tools okay I love reading tarot but I also like to interpret the things that are you know the symbolisms and the signs that you know the world the universe gives me it's very magical Okay, guys, so before I jump into it, I want to talk about the planets, what's going on. There is a lot going on in your sign for the month of July, as well as there's solar, lunar eclipses, retrograde. So let me tell you a little bit about what's going on in July. Okay, the solar eclipse in Cancer is happening July 2nd. The lunar eclipse in Capricorn is happening July 16th. So you might see yourself have... For the solar eclipse in Cancer, that's going to bring about family-related, I don't want to say issues, but things in your life, okay? The lunar eclipse in Capricorn is going to bring out your responsibilities. You're going to focus a little bit more on things that serves a purpose, you know, kind of leave behind the things that no longer serve you, you know, bad habits, whatever it might be, uh, feelings towards exes or, you know, resentment in career or failed projects, kind of leave those things behind. First civilization heard all weekend a plane flying by. So I'm gonna take it as to my Leos, you need to get some projects done. Perhaps do some traveling, maybe work in a career that, you know, kind of has you exploring the world and doing some travels, okay? Maybe you guys need to take a personal trip yourself. I love using <laughs> different messages and stuff to bring to you guys. Like I said, I love reading the actual cards. It's something very visual, but just listening to the messages the world gives you, the universe gives you is something very special, okay? All right, so talk about a little bit what's going on in your sign. You have Mars is going into Leo July 1st, okay? The retrograde in Mercury is in your sign and that is on the 7th. On the 27th, you have Venus enters Leo. On the 31st, you have a new moon in your sign. That's a lot. It's a lot more than normal months, but you know what? Let's use all of this mixing up of energies as to something good. Like I always say, guys, chaos brings change. All right, my Leos. I really hope you like the setup here. Before I actually do read some cards, I want to tell you at the end of the reading, at the end of this video, I'll be talking more about this giveaway that I have. It's Spiritual Findings with the Gypsy Souls One Year Birthday. So I have a really awesome healing box. It's got like a salt lamp, your own tarot deck, tapestry, incense, sage. You guys can, uh, I didn't want to bring it off grid. So I'll show the picture at the end of the video of it. I have it at home. This is only for my US subscribers, but all you have to do is share, ring the notification bell and subscribe. Comment below for your chance to win. The rules will be in the description box as well as at the end of this video, I'll dive a little bit more into it but let's get into this reading guys i feel some good things for my leo a lot of changes a lot of different things going on all right leo look at this so you are starting off with the three of swords some of you guys have a broken heart you know it could be from a failed relationship, a failed marriage. I feel some of you guys have lost a loved one. 
okay maybe somebody in your life is not really in the best of health maybe you're remembering your parents your mother somebody very close to you a close friend who has passed away I want to let you know that their spirit is with you okay I mean you can see that the Sun just lit up this card like nothing they are with you your ancestors are with you your loved ones are with you you may miss them the pain might still be there but you can ask them for help they want you to call upon them for when you need help when you know you're feeling low or depressed or you need you know extra influences to manifest your dreams they're there call upon them Okay, for some of you guys who are experiencing past trauma or illness yourself, I hate to use the cliche, it's not a cliche, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, but that is true, my Leos, okay? So you're going to have to use those energies and those experiences that weren't that great for a better future. Maybe this is something that you can relate to, you know, somebody in the future, whether you're mentoring or, you know, charity work or something like that. Trust me, Leo, these dark times, these experiences, they are for the better, okay? Time heals everything, it really does. All right, guys. All right. So, Leo, I am seeing with the three of pentacles that you are putting your skills towards something, whether it's your education or, you know, using your hands, crafting, poetry, making a small business something. You're putting your skills forward. You know, you're getting out there. You're promoting whatever it is that you want attention to, and you're really manifesting things at this time. You're getting a community. You're getting people who support you. And your ideas, your businesses, whatever it might be, your change in relationships, people are supporting you. All right, you can see there, there's a nun, a monk, and a craftsman all building a temple. They're putting all of their talents together to make something beautiful, and that is what you're going to be doing or currently doing Leo's. All right. I love how this 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 reading ends because I think we're taking something dark and we're turning it into something beautiful. We're turning it into something that, you know, keeps us going, you know, the wind beneath our wings or just really inspiring us because we have the 6 of wands, okay? You are riding out in triumph for July okay you, it could be in the beginning of July it could have even been before July but what you're going to accomplish and the things that are going to change in July are definitely going to be pushing you in the right direction you can see that there are just more supporters behind him there are people holding up you know their wands and they're cheering on you know they're celebrating this young man and his victory okay so I really do see that this month is going to bring out some smiles. Perhaps it's celebrating your birthday, you know, that this card could represent some time off, some mental time to yourself, take a trip. You know, that was the first plane that I heard the whole entire weekend. So take that travel wherever it is. You know, there's plenty of websites where you can find really affordable ways to make your dream travels come true, okay? There's that plane again. I don't know if the audio is going to pick that up, but I hear it as, as soon as I'm starting to talk about it. All right, my Leos. So about before I pull from the fairies card, I did want to dive a little bit more into the healing basket. Like I said, it's spiritual findings with the gypsy souls. One year anniversary it actually was in April. So on July 31st at 9 p.m. Eastern time on a live chat, I will be pulling, you know, the lucky winner for the healing box, which I'll put a picture at the end of the reading of what is all included in the box, guys. It is a lot of stuff. It's very heavy, so I didn't want to bring it up here on my off-grid trip, so I'll just put a picture at the end of it. But it, like I said, it's got its own tarot deck, tapestry, incense, sage, a whole bunch of other really great stuff in there, a salt lamp. You guys will love it. It is for my U.S. subscribers only. Unfortunately, I'm not able at the time right now to afford international packaging except for something that especially for something that is so heavy there's a lot of stuff in this box guys so all you have to do is subscribe share any one of my videos um to any social media you know i kind of am i'm really not tech savvy obviously i love the off-grid lifestyle 
I barely have a smartphone, so I don't have things like Instagram. I don't have, you know, the Twitter, nothing like that. I only have Facebook, which you can find our Facebook link in the description box below. You can actually private message me. You know, that's another way that you can get in contact for readings or if you just want to shout out, say something nice. I post a lot of stuff, tell you when I'm going live, inspirational stuff on the Facebook. So hope to see you on there. But just for that giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe, share, um, you know, hit that notification bell you can see the rules below um, I'll, I'll put it th at the end of the video too. all the rules but I literally only have like 10 people on my list right now for the giveaway guys so it is a really good opportunity you have a really good chance to win it and even if you don't end up getting the giveaway box July 31st at 9 p.m. Eastern time I will be doing free readings up until the giveaway okay guys so that's a lot of fun and in the meantime, I do a lot of live streams. You know, hit that notification bell. It'll tell you when I'm going live. I do free reading sessions on, um, you know, the live stream. I'll even do paid readings too on there as well. It's really fun community. Shout out to my Leo subscribers that have been in the live streams. They're so much fun. You guys are, you know, it's it's a very inspirational. We bring in a lot of spiritual studies talk. It's like talk and tarot. It's so much fun, guys. I hope to see you there and shout out to my Leos who have already been there. I love you guys. All right, so I'm going to pull from the fairies card. I'm feeling we're going to do some fairies. Um, you know, we're out here on the mountain. It's very earth oriented, very air because we are, it's very gusts of wind, but I'm going to pick the fairies because the fairies represent earth too as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be pulling from the fairies. I'm feeling one from the fairies. Well, that's pretty much what I've been doing for all my signs for this month for this reading i do have a really cute short july video regarding your love <clears throat> you guys might want to check that out all right so for my leos we're going to pick a fairy card for july 2019 let's see here guys let's see all right, new home, moving is, moving is a step in the right direction. Okay, so for some of you guys, this is actually literally picking up and moving, finding a new apartment, a condo, a new home. Okay, for some of you guys that actually isn't representing a residence, this is a new home, maybe a new place of mindset. Um, you know, maybe a new second home, whether you're, you know, jumping in the local spiritual community or, you know, something, you know, in your, your community hall or your, your local church, you know, finding a new home, a new sense of home. All right, my Leos, maybe it's that travel. Maybe when you travel, you're going to be, you know, hey, I would love to live in this type of area. I know that happens to a lot of people. They kind of manifest your dreams to pick up and live there. All right, guys. All right, so that sums up our reading for July 2019. Like I said, happy birthday to some of you guys. I hope to see some of you guys comment below that you are interested in the giveaway that, like I said, July 31st, 9 p.m. Eastern time, we'll be doing that. We'll be doing the live stream with free readings up until the drawing. You know, go ahead and hit that notification bell and you'll be notified when I do live streams. Maybe get yourself a free reading in the meantime. Okay. All right, my spirit family. And I just want to say those who are new to this channel, it is a lot of fun. Um, I'm bringing more spiritual studies into this channel. So it's not just always tarot readings. Okay. I will always be loyal to my tarot readings, but I want to bring in more of the spiritual study side. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. This is Spiritual Findings with a Gypsy Soul. I am your gypsy, Lyra Lynn. You guys have a beautiful July and happy birthday to some of you guys.